Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm taking a look at Pardust 17.5. This is a Linux distribution which is developed in Turkey and uses the Deepin desktop environment, so a Turkish Linux distribution using a Chinese desktop. Okay, so I'm taking a look at the website using the translation. and <laughs> Yeah, Google Translate, you've just really not done well here, have you? We published 17.5 version of Pardus, which is still being developed by the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey. So it is the last intermediate version of Pardus 17, and there's a long-term support version which looks like up until about 2021. Pardus 17 will continue to receive updates, but a new version will not create a disk pattern. <laughs> Sorry, I had to read that out, it just looked so funny. Yeah, a few changes which is mostly bringing newer up-to-date versions of particular applications and this statement here the installation process was abandoned via the live pop-up system and only installation environment was opened and the preference was made to load i have no idea what you're on about there but i have to say the installation process was different to deepin actually more of a boring version of deepin perhaps it reminded me more of a reskinned version of the debian installer anyway let's look at the proposed versions of pardus Looks like they're moving to XFCE next time, so perhaps I'm wasting my time with this Deepin version. I thought it would be something different to look at, and I wondered if it was any different to Deepin itself. And no, not really. Got the same look and feel to it. Got a nice style control center on the right hand side. I will get one statement out of the way in regards to tracking. I didn't find any evidence, or at least no evidence of third party tracking. Not to say I think the first party tracking is there, but I just didn't go looking for it. I was looking more at the DNS connections. So yeah, there's no issues with the store. I can't remember what the deep install looks like, whether this is just a whole new package or a reskinned version of the deep install. I think this is a different application. It doesn't really look like any of the other deep in applications, but I do apologize if I'm wrong. English localization there is about as bad as what I would expect from deep in. I have no idea what you're on about. Installing applications was simple enough. What language are the reviews in? Just need to find something with a review on. Coming soon. I don't think there are any. We're looking at a language there under the deep in terminal. I'm guessing that's going to be Turkish, not Chinese. Something I believe a Turkish user will get is better localization for the likes of LibreOffice. I did see on the website that they mentioned about working on the localization. So yeah, that's something I'm not going to be able to see here. Look, I don't speak any Turkish. I'd not be able to find my way around it if I had gone for that language. I had to stay with English. So yeah, we're not going to get any benefit there. You get a few of the deep in applications, music, movie player, calculator, the file manager. Let's see what it says about trash. Ah oh yes, if you hover over it, trash zero file. File. Files. Plural. What if you put one file in the trash? Okay, I will delete you and then see what it says. Trash one file. <laughs> yes, you are correct there. And now what do you have? Two files. Seems to actually be okay there. Just the zero one, which seemed to be different than I would expect. Anyway, I'm fussing about nothing much in particular. Let's go across to the control center. Under display there is the theme settings. A few different choices of icons. Looks like they've supplied their own theming, but that appears to be something else. I can't think what it is at the moment though, but yeah, I don't think that's uh, just their own theming. It's based on another theme. C theme is a bit nautical. I think I'll go with the Pardus, Pardus standard. Font of choice is Noto. Under mouse setting, the double click test. Oh, it's a little kitty. Goodbye, kitty. You can actually scroll up and down this menu, so you've got access to all the settings. You don't have to go in and out of all these icons. I wonder where it's got my location from. I did see it contacting Mozilla's location services. Is it actually my location? Not actually told me. Is it that temperature? I don't think so. I think that's a bit too warm for the UK. So yeah, that's it for the settings. The browser of choice is Firefox Extended Support Release. I suppose that is a useful consideration for a long-term support release. You get the full suite of LibreOffice. When I was doing a bit of testing with the applications, I installed SuperTux, VLC, and Kate. I wanted to see what a KDE application looked like. 
Yeah, looks fine. And that's what the VLC looks like. Comparing to a GTK application though, we do have the oddity with GNOME with the different size application title bar and various locations for the menus. Yeah, otherwise that's all usable and not the worst presentation that I've seen. As an English speaking user, I don't really see much of a benefit of going with Pardus versus Deepin OS. You're going to get the same desktop with just a slightly different set of applications. Perhaps with the Turkish user, it would be better as you're getting more of a native language support. Yeah, that was a look at Pardus version 17.5. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Mm -hmm.